So what happens when you combine French cuisine with comfort foods found in the low country region of South Carolina? You get the Fat Hen Restaurant and its owner and head chef Fred Nouvelle. After graduating from the Culinary Institute of America and honing his culinary skills in many of the best restaurants in the nation, Chef Nouvelle has designed outrageously delicious signature dishes he calls Low Country French. Our field reporter Ursula Bug dined and met with Chef Nouvelle to better understand his passion for combining French and Low Country cuisine. Can you tell me what is Low Country French cuisine? Well, Low Country French, the, 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 the French Huguenots settled in the Low Country in the early 1500s because they were being persecuted in France. So their cuisine, as well as a number of nationalities, influenced what low country cuisine is today. I graduated from culinary school, CIA, the Culinary Institute of America, in 1985, and I gravitated towards French. And was it the local farms in the area that made you decide on John's Island location? You know, I, everybody, said I was crazy. You're going out in the middle of nowhere. You're going out in the middle of nowhere. How can you, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna survive. I even had one farmer say, are you gonna be open for lunch? I said, no, we're just gonna be open for dinner. Said, You'll never make it. So why is that? He said, because once people are on the island, they stay at home. And I did all my market studies and found that it was only nine miles from the center of downtown, four and a half miles from West Ashley. I said, this is a perfect spot and it's homey, it's, it, 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 has, it has its own charm. It's like walking into your own house with comfortable food. So that's what, that's what it boils down to is I do a lot of, we, we use a French technique with low country ingredients. With signature dishes like fried chicken livers with country ham and wild mushroom cream, fried green tomatoes with pimento goat cheese, pepper relish, and tomato jam or try the butternut squash rice with goat cheese, fresh herbs, oven roasted tomatoes, and lentils. Just one taste and you'll understand why these ingredients work so well together. Uh, and then we have things like the boiled peanut salad that you won't find anywhere else. What it is is boiled peanuts with um, grilled corn, roasted tomatoes, fresh herbs tossed in a green goddess dressing, and served over some mescaline greens and it's absolutely out of this world. And, yeah, and you won't find that anywhere else. If it's authentically French you're craving, then you have to try Chef Nouvelle's Coco Van, prepared with locally grown ingredients. This is a Keegan Fillin Farms chicken. Keegan Fillin Farms is in Walterboro, right down the road from us. Traditionally, Coco Van is made with a rooster. And in, in France, they made it with a rooster because they didn't know what else to do with it. That's what they used to do in the old days. So is this a true cocova? No, because we don't use rooster. And all these vegetables that you see are from f local farms, except for the air cover. We have Swiss chard, we have sweet potatoes, and we have air cover. And it's absolutely delicious. And I also noticed you share recipes on your website. And that's pretty unique. What inspired you to do that? Well, you know, I've been asked my whole career, can, can, can we have your recipe, can we have your recipe, can we have your recipe? And I won't give it to another chef, but I'll give it to people that are home cooks or, or whatever. I'll give them the recipe and say, if you have any questions or you, it doesn't quite work out the way that you want it to, just call me. And by sharing something that I love so much in this career of mine and in the world, sharing that just it makes it even it makes it makes you feel even better. It makes me feel even better. So we're doing a duck confit demonstration here, and, and what this is is a, a leg and thigh, and we marinate this in salt, cracked pepper, garlic, and bay leaf. That's overnight. And then what we do is we take that and we cook it in its own juices. Okay, we have two duck leg and thigh, and you can see that it's been marinated, and you have the cracked pepper on there. What we want to do is we want to make that skin crispy. That's the sound you want to hear. That's the sizzle of life. That's what you want, right there. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to flip it over. We're going to get a nice color. We're going to flip it over, and then we're going to put it in the oven to heat it through, OK? 
Okay, and then when, while that's heating, we're gonna make our uh, roasted sweet potatoes. And we season that with brown butter, because that adds a nice nutty flavor, and a little bit of local honey, because that adds to the sweetness of the sweet potato. We're gonna add a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit, just to bring out all those flavors. Okay, and this is one of those low country dishes that's French and low country. Duck confit is tra very traditionally French. But we're gonna add a little bit of low country to it with our collard greens. Okay. Then another thing that we do is we, we use a demi-gloss. And the demi-gloss, the demi-gloss is our house-made veal stock reduced down until thick. So this is well gluten-free. With the saltiness of the duck, that, that, that demi-gloss really mellows that out and adds a nice flavor to it. Okay, I'm gonna plate this guy up just like so. All right, let me grab these sweet potatoes and we'll change the starch seasonally. So we'll do sweet potatoes, we'll do pumpkin, we'll do spaghetti squash, whatever, whatever season it might be. Now, the piece de resistance is this right here. And these are brandied smoked figs that we smoke in our cold smoker and top on this duck. So now you have sweet, spice in the collards, acidic, ac acidity in the collards, and you have smoky in the figs. And with a demi-gloss, that just all mellows out and makes it a very happy place. Chef, thank you so much for having us today. Please let our viewers know how they can find out more about you and about Fat Hen. Well, you're very welcome, and thanks for, for coming in this evening. They can come uh, visit us at 3140 Maybank Highway on Johns Island, or they can check our website out at www.thefathen.com, or they can call at 843-559-9090. Great, thank you very much again. Thank you so much. Mm. All this food tastes fabulous. I sure wish you guys could be here. Thank you for watching Time Travelers. See you next time.